All right, so we're going to be drawing a revolved protrusion and we're going to be using that for a fourth axis drilling up. So first of all, make sure that your environment is set up correctly. So you're set up to 2D and that in the Z field right here, it's zero. Before you start drawing, we're set to top. Okay, and we are ready to draw. So we're going to draw a four inch long part and it's going to be three inches in diameter. So 1.5 radius. Click OK. Click OK. And then we're going to offset the OD to the inside and offset it 0.3. So we're going to have a piece of round stock with a hole through it with a wall thickness of 300,000. Okay, so click OK. Then we're going to trim. I notice I have the scissor right here is active and the trim to entity is active. So with that active, you grab that corner, grab the first one, then the second one, first one and second one. So all we have left is our shape. We're going to revolve and then the axis. Click OK. We're going to solids. We're going to revolve. We're going to grab the chain. Click OK. Then it says select the axis. Click OK. OK, so we're going to revolve, create body 360 degrees. OK, so there's our part. And it is perfectly on center. So that's good. So now we want to drill some holes. So let's set our Z to the OD, let it snap to the OD and it should be 1.5 and notice how it says 1.5. So back to top. Now we're going to drill some holes on the outside. So let's select a circle and what you can do is select the space bar and it opens up this menu right here and in it we're going to be entering the x and y coordinate for the center point of that hole so the first value you enter will be the x value so we're going to enter minus 0.750 then a comma that separates x and y the Y will be on center, so that's going to be a zero. Then you click enter. Now notice that circle is now on that location. So the only thing that's left is selecting the size. So I'm going to, I'm going to click and then click in this field. And we're going to be entering 0.250 enter and click OK. So then we're going to copy that hole. So we're going to select it going to XForm Translate, copy at a distance of 0.5, enter, and we'll go the opposite direction. And we're going to create one, two, three, four copies. Okay. So we'll click OK. So now when you rotate, you can see those circles right there on the OD. Okay. So now we've learned how to create extrusions. So we're going to select those circles. Click OK. Now they're all pointing up. So instead of selecting every single one to reverse that, what we can do is we can cut body. We know that our wall thickness is 300 thousands. So we're going to extend by a specific distance 0.5 is enough to get all the way through on one side. We're going to reverse the direction right here and click OK. So now we turn our solids back on. You can see we have our holes through only one side. OK, now we're going to the right plane. We're going to select those holes that we drew. Now notice they are red and purple. Now the red is the reason it's red is because that's the original shape that we drew and the purple is the resulting color after we copied it. 
okay so what you can do off of this menu right here on the side it says quick mask results so you can select purple and quick mask group red so that's a quick way of selecting the geometry now I could have selected one at a time also okay but that is just a quick way to select geometry that you're currently working with all right so go back to right click right then go back into rotate we're gonna copy every 90 degrees okay and then we're gonna do one two three so you notice we have four groups now at 90 degrees angle between and click OK so notice now the original holes that I selected that I copied all the way around are red and the resulting color of the entities that I copied is purple okay so to clear those colors you can go to clear colors and everything is your current color again all right so now the only other thing I want to do is grab these holes and I'm going to do one more group at 45 degrees so click OK we're going to copy 45 degrees enter and I want them on the other, on the other side so I'm going to reverse and then click OK so at that point we're going to hit save You always want to make sure that you save often, especially when uh, you've done a lot of different things. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is use the geometry that we just rotated, and we're going to actually poke holes into our 300,000 stick wall. So we'll go back to top. Okay, so we're going to go solid extrude and rotate, and then you select. The holes we want to protrude click OK all the arrows are up again so when the menu comes up we can leave all this the same cut the body to a 500 thousandths depth reverse direction okay so that's one we'll do it again solids extrude pick all these okay now the arrows are pointing correctly so now I don't want to reverse I click OK again extrude click OK OK now I did them in groups of six I want you to know you could have probably grabbed all of them all at once Okay. Each individual hole is a, a separate extrusion. Okay. All right. So we turn our solace back on, and we now have holes all the way around. All right. Back to tool paths. We're gonna select a machine type. So, machine type mill. And I got this generic Haas 4-axis mill. Okay, make sure that it's not a millimeter. Okay, so in top, make sure that we set the top. I'm going to be right-clicking mill, drill. Drill holes on, on OD, that'll work. Then I'm going to select entities. Now I'm going to do this first group right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Then we're going to select the tool and we're going to turn filter on. I'm going to select drill, turn everything else off. Click OK. Then quarter inch there you go double click let's just call that tool number 10 
in the parameters it says quarter inch drill so we'll let that go so drill 0.250 diameter holes that's the name of our operation let's say that's aluminum so 1500 rpm and we can use uh, five inches a minute and we're going to drill countable linking and we're going to work with incremental depths so the top of the stock i'm just going to let it snap to the od the depth is going to be incremental depth of 0.5 we know that's enough to go all the way through our wall thickness the retract i'm going to set at five inches okay and then this usually defaults at two i'm going to set that at six inches all right so planes is set all to top coolant is on then let's go to axis control rotary axis control we're gonna set it to rotary axis positioning rotary axis about x axis so we click ok all right so let's click back plot and notice because it is set to fourth axis it, it rotates the part on you so don't be alarmed that it's grabbing the wrong holes it's just uh, the verification software kind of doing a rotation on you and then let's see what that looks like so it comes from our clearance plane and obviously I have my depth wrong so when you do that you go into parameters and you go back to linking and notice I had a plus value so that needs to be a minus 0.5 and then we have to regenerate and then let's take a look at that again and this time it drilled all the way through let's take a look at that again okay it's actually doing the next hole there you go so set that clearance plane to whatever you're comfortable with All right, so that is our first set of holes. So I'm gonna right click, copy this operation, then left click next to the arrow, right click and paste. Then back to top, and I'm gonna select the next set of holes. So I go into the geometry, I'm gonna right click in this window, reselect all entities, I'm gonna grab those circles that we drew and it automatically knows to grab the center of those circles okay so basically all the parameters are set by copying that operation it already has a tool it has to wait once to drill we're not pecking so we're just, just drilling straight through linking all those parameters are set and our rotary axis are set so we click OK and let's see if that uh, drill is lining up with holes. Okay, make sure that it goes all the way through. That's good. So click OK. Now let's hit save again. Then we're going to select all operations. Let's click G1. Okay, drill holes on OD. Okay. So what I do is I go into NC functions and I remove the block numbers. Now, what I want you to notice is the code is spitting out two different drilling operations with a rotation of A0 for the first set and then A45 for the second set of holes. Now, it also assigns a G54 work offset for the first holes and then a G55 for the second set of holes. So that allows you to individually offset that hole pattern if you want to. Now, if you want to just drill all the holes in G54 
and just let the software do a rotation, then let me show you what needs to be done. So I'm going to close out on this. I don't want to save. Then I go back into the parameters and click on planes and where it says work offset we're going to make it a zero then click OK and then we do the same thing here we make that a zero OK regenerate now let's do a quick verify first set of holes then it rotates and it does the second set of holes the ones on 45 degrees okay all right so having made that change let's go ahead and post that out again yes and now when I remove the block numbers you can see we have G54 active on this line and all it does once it's done with that first set of holes it does a rotation and then goes back to X minus 0.750 and calls up the next can cycle for the next set of holes okay so that's how we're gonna be picking the rest of the holes is with that same work offset active okay so again right now we're gonna highlight two we're going to right click, copy, and then paste. And then I'm going to turn solids on so it's a little bit easier to see. So I have these two first patterns. So I'm going to do this third set of holes right here. So let's left click on geometry, right click in this field, reselect all entities. I'm going to grab each individual hole of this set okay done okay and regen then right click copy right click paste I'm gonna rotate it over left click right click reselect all entities select all these click OK OK regen right click paste I'm gonna rotate it one more time I'm gonna left click on this right click reselect all entities and this this should be our last set of holes click OK yes regen all right so we should have picked every hole so right now I'm gonna select all operations I'm gonna click on back plot just kind of rotate it make sure we can see the drill so that's one set two set three sets four sets and five sets of holes all right we'll call that good g1 i'm going to post out all operations and let's see what that looks like all right so again nc functions remove block numbers it looks like we got an a0 an a45 an a90 an A180 and an A270 so alright so that's how we're gonna drill on a Ford axis hope that helps see you in the next video